number 24 of 1500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter, follow us there, and we also have an Instagram, and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram, I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running, and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com, thank you oh so much. You are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed, so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information and more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. Part four. Here we go. Multiculturalism, liberalism, and security. Okay. Security, let's let's talk more about security. What is stability? Okay, to save Western Muslims as much as everyone else, to save all of us, to have the less tension, less clashes. Let's hear it. Okay, so a major tactic of the far right is to say that these people are uncivilized, but that's not true. There are few uncivilized people left in the world today. No, it's saying that they are civilized by different things. We're all civilized by different things. You know what I mean? Civilized by different things. Family, honor, patriarchy, state enforcement of morality, etc. You know, submission. That's what's great about Islam and great about some African cultures and Islamic cultures and the, and the other part of the world and the Middle East. What's so great about it is that you see civilization in another lens, another perspective. Just like some would argue that Westerners are civilized by Christian values or by secular humanism. Any civilization will go to hell if whatever it's holding it together is moved, right? So remember what civilizes you or them or us or whatever and, and people live it out. They live it out. They act it out. They do it. They can't help but act out how they feel, think and their values and their beliefs that they maintain. I don't think we have a, I don't think we moderns have a good understanding of just how rare the last 50 years have been relative to the prior 1 million years of hominoid evolution, okay? So, just, just, just as I certainly wouldn't want to see more incompatible Westerners in East Asia en masse, huge, huge, huge ghettos of foreigners doing their own foreign things and playing their own foreign sports. I mean, they, it just doesn't seem right. It's a different society within the whole. It seems odd, right? It seems odd. It seems odd. Like, kind of like why we have two Hong Kongs, right? You have a, like a, like a British Hong Kong, you know, but you know, rule number one, rule number one of, of leadership is you must protect your citizens, okay? Civil unrest is escalated by close proximity of disparate peoples competing for resources, be it political, resources, or whatever. Better to stop the emergence of these mini, mini nations and have an almighty crisis in the future, you know? So, locals will get when their livelihoods are under threat to you know, Tokyo, Moscow, don't have this kind of threat. They don't have to worry in Tokyo about terrorist attacks because, you know, policies don't increase numbers to the point where it becomes difficult, difficult to integrate, okay? So numbers don't get to the point where it becomes a threat too great for locals. So ask your neighbours. So is it more pertinent to ask? Is it more pertinent to ask where, where, where would Swedes go? Where would Swedes go to find security and safety? Where would Danes go? Where would Germans go? Where would the Japanese go? All right, that's why Japanese don't invite chaos into the shore. So they don't have to address this madness. Trumpism. Trump is more like make America like like Japan, not make America great again, make America more like East Asia at the same time, make America, make America safe and make America secure. At this moment, if you love all those people who talk and talk and talk but don't do, it's okay now, but when, you know, if people push too far, the tide will turn. That's history, that's human nature. You see this in Europe. You see, America decided, no, that enough is enough. So, yeah, protect, protect your people. That's rule number one. Protect yours and, and things will be following along nicely, you know. Looking at looking at attitude surveys, no. Like, okay, we still have to look at them, we don't have to agree with them, but it is so. So the pure research findings and other statistics and attitudes and values within these communities are let's just say they are problematic, they are astonishing. 
sky high rates of oh my god no wow that's very very illiberal well just look them up totally against the majority and also noticeably opposed with every other minority immigrant group who abandoned all ways in order to assimilate and that's why you should keep the numbers manageable to help them and help us help everybody get through this this thing we love which is our nation we love all peoples and yes this is how this is this is multicultural liberalism security pick two pick two our grandchildren won't have a safe and secure country of shared culture if otherwise you know like yeah laws in switzerland forbidding certain certain demographics from you know living as they would back home right there are there are pinnacles of persian or arabian civilizations high civilizations you know and and so conduct like so right so the finest examples of persian or arabian civilizations you can read about it and it's astonishing like the amount of stability and order and and like you know there's the math and the science and the, the beauty and the arts and stuff you know yeah you know, but you know some of it now, practiced now, may be at odds with integral parts of Western Enlightenment civilization as core Europe is finding out or found out and changed, you know. That's a correction, shouldn't be too much, shouldn't, shouldn't be so much as, as, as an attention. You should, you should think things through before your intentions take you where, where, there, there. So, you know, you know, these problems only become massive problems when numbers get to critical mass, you know, you know, you know, just look at numbers in Africa and Middle East and problems in South Asia and West Asia and etc. and South East Asia and etc. You see numbers of people who fundamentally have beliefs that are not 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 with the the, the, the major major majority and you know this is clash this is tension this is anti security this yeah. anti liberalism you see we tend to forget that low numbers of divergent groups put pressures to assimilate which is the goal for a healthy citizenry pick yeah. multiculturalism pick multiculturalism thus define it's inherently self defeating especially if it involves large numbers of people from cultures where multiculturalism itself is not a value and who therefore have no problem asserting their own dominant mm, culture expansive parallel societies emerge inside the new country competing with their own internal justice systems in violation of the democratic principles of legal equality one law for all these are a concept of multicultural policies, naively assuming that immigrants, regardless of how liberal our cultures or origins may be, will automatically adopt cultural values such as secularism, sexual equality and, and aggressive individualism and that we will do so in perpetuity the myopic arrogance of western liberalism i think i think i think they just didn't think this one through because they do they do they do not like to think they are they don't like to think no they don't like to think they like to emote and 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 create create boundaries between them and the people they don't like the people they don't like and that's that's all that matters not the truth not anything Rational, logical, not anything that makes sense. So, needlessly puts women and children in minorities. Minorities within minorities. The ultimate minorities, such as Muslim homosexuals, and they're all at risk, right? Implicit in this idea is the belief that there are no cultural behaviors that immigrant groups need to change in order to advance in their new environments. Rather, it's the whole society that must change to prevent such groups from falling. This belief is based on a largely unexamined assumption that social disparities are invariably the result of external conditions such as systemic this and something phobia in the host society rather than the people doing what they do, i.e. cultural traits. Culture is what you do. And this this patronizing attitude, the soft bigotry of low expectations can only be tested by examining the same cultural groups in different environments, especially in places where they constitute the majority. Seldom are such places centers of freedom and progress and prosperity. No, 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 no. As we see discrimination and disparity is culture rather than discrimination is often the deciding factor. You know this, you know this, but you avoid this. And whether or not the particular immigrant group, person, ethnic minority advances. But you know this. But you know this. You know, stories of 
Asian or Jewish immigrants to the United States successful despite discrimination and persecution cases in point. As in, as in the fact that black immigrants economically outperform some U.S. native blacks as well as Hispanic immigrants by some significant margins. You know this, but you know this, right? Within this group, what, South American-born blacks even have a higher median household income than the average American, but you know this, you know this. This is not deny, deny any, any reality of racial prejudice and discrimination. It demonstrates, however, that racial discrimination is not the whole story. So think this through, since the group's impression are all black. Hmm. Not a race and culture inseparable as the far left and far right identitarians would have us believe when immigrants, irrespective of skin colour, adopt the cultural values that have allowed them to succeed. The whole society is advanced, they stand a much better chance of getting ahead in that society, especially if their own culture has an objectively poor track record. Yet this is precisely what multiculturalism disincentivizes by framing or top Autonomous achievement as some sort of privilege to the detriment of all concern. No, no, no. A lack of shared cultural values diminishes trust, reducing social capital, the real source of wealth, remember, weakening the social fabric and further, further isolating immigrant communities. So, 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 so what's the alternative? Both multiculturalism and ethno-nationalism are off the table. Integration, yeah, that's right, Inter integration. This requires a certain degree of cultural assimilation on the part of each individual immigrant and a certain degree of the openness on the part of the whole society, right? This is this 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 in turn requires incentives, both positive and negative, and raises fundamental questions. First, first, how do we define the culture we want immigrants to integrate into? Second, how many immigrants can feasibly become integrated within which time span? Third, which immigrants are likely, most likely to integrate well into the whole society? Huh? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? It's it's naive to believe what the rate and nature of immigration don't matter. Integration obviously easier when the number of immigrants is relatively small. Likewise, skilled immigrants and cultures that are similar to that of host society are a rule, as a rule, better suited to integration. Skilled immigrants from cultures that are similar to that of the host society, as a rule, better suited to integration. Mm -mm. Yes. So, let culture Le couture, le couture, le couture, what's that? It's le couture, okay. Right. It does not imply a monoculture, it simply implies that there are widely shared cultural values and principles at the core of each society. Holding society, holding together the social fabric, one cannot fully partake in a society without adopting its core culture, cultural values and principles, nor can society function without them. In our liberal tradition, it's that no idea is above scrutiny and no people are beneath dignity. That no idea is above scrutiny and no people are beneath dignity. Okay, ideas, people. And I throw in aesthetics too. That's our open, that's really open, open, open to me, open to you. And what are we looking at here? Crucially, 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 listen, listen to the reasons they give why they do it, why they do it. Listen to problematic people in each of our little subcultures. Listen to what they do that is causing the problems. Listen carefully, listen carefully the reasons they give. Read about the people that did it, read about it. Go, go, okay? Wow. You can't ignore this. Read about Rohan. Listen to the reasons they gave. Why? 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 Why the conspiracy of silence? What's this? What's going on? You have to know what's going on. These are your people. Security. Multiculturalism. Liberty. Liberalism. Security. Stability. As you should go directly to the source. The far left generally dislikes successful groups, right? Especially groups that have been persecuted and therefore aren't supposed to be successful according to the theory of reality, the Marxist theory of the Marxist belief in them. Nonsense, 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 nonsense. If you are successful, that means you must be oppressing others, right? Somehow, 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 some way. It's like a zero sum game to them. Reality be damned. They stick to this narrative and are happy to die through the zero sum power game delusion, you know. I also think the left thinks the right hates Islam, you know. I think, and therefore it's following the old principle of the enemy of the enemy is my friend. The modern Western left up to this point has not attacked all religions. No, unlike the communists, no. 
also Islamic immigrants to the West check three boxes of Marxist left and radical virtue, immigrants, non-white, and a perceived victim religion. How a religion that enforces submission socially everywhere is a victim is besides the point. Let's just don't want clarity of logic, get anywhere between the ideological goals. No. No, no, no. However, no way this alliance can last more than 30 years. You're already seeing uh, the fractioning, you're already seeing the disintegration of the coalition of the fringes, so called, right? Rapid growth, rapid growth will hasten the collapse of this kind of nonsense of dissection of leftism, right? It's the foundations of liberalism, it's crumbling. Like I said, pick two. Pick two. Pick two. Multiculturalism. Liberalism, security. Okay, so there was a country named Yugoslavia. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. how about that? Why Western Europe didn't learn from this experience and want to be turned into such pots is beyond me, right? I'm just painting and thinking, right? Mm. You know, it's like it's like Islam, modern Islam doesn't seem compatible with itself, had Sunnis, Shia, Sufis, etc. You know, absent strong man leadership or ruling royal family clan. So, so much ideological and tribal clan conflict so at a time when Europe has eradicated that old world style of honor culture. Well, invite it, bring it, bring it, and let's see how that goes with this liberalism. No, it doesn't, it doesn't go, it doesn't go, it doesn't fix, you know it, this is what you see, reap what you sow, right? You know. Tip for tat, tip for tat, violence, that's not good. That's not secure, doesn't look good, right? No. It wasn't the passive working classes who voted or welcomed other incompatible cultures, right? It was the illogical, high verbal, intellectual, yet idiot powerful elites. Yet they don't care how many people suffer, how many terror attacks. They are truly blind with their arrogance and ignorance and ideology and some form of apathy amongst us. You know, we are from developing worlds. We know what tribal hatred and bloodshed is. We know, we know. We have what people in our immediate family suffered through. You know, we know, we know. We know, we know, we know. Yeah, we know, we know, we know, we know. We know. I am from there. You know, assume. No, assume you guys were wise and had progress past that and could select appropriate people to contribute and welcome one, become one. We, well, we didn't expect you to truly turn all your countries back into what we fled. We didn't think that. We didn't think that at all. You know, I mean, when I tried to imagine how the average fundamentalist is in West feel about these left-wing intellectuals supporting him, her, you know, I can, we can only laugh, we can only laugh, we can only laugh nervously, we can only laugh, and the amazing part of the, of the story is that the people who are most eager to let the third world bring its values and morals are often the ones with the most to lose, women, homosexuals, and Jews, you know, I say nobody, but of course we have... Douglas Murray, Tommy Robinson, and, and the other side, we have Majid, Nawaz, and Iman, Tawidi, and the countless other reformers and ex-Muslims fighting for their lives, as ridiculous as that sounds. I would say that those on those issues, Ayan Hashi Ali is one very, very few public personalities who dare look and discover what's true, you know? Question, question on the radical, radical leftist globalists is mostly upper middle class whites, not us brown and black folk, and not a poor whites, no, all blind to reality, ignorant, not worldly, not very, very understanding, and very bigoted in a soft bigotry way, and very, very, very arrogant, so pure research tells us so much more, so much, so much, so much, we ignore, you know, we welcome all people from the Commonwealth, and greater, indiscriminatory, and what do we do, three generations later? Chinese, Africans, Africans, Caribbeans, people assimilating and marrying and creating culture, Indians, you know, not, not, not intermarry as much, but, you know, endogamy and, and such is, is the way it is. So, you know, you get many nations, you get ghettos, and you say, oh, how do we manage this? So, oh, we have groups, and now we just brought about the problems of multiculturalism, and we brought about problems which. We can't hear you told us not to do, no, it's just, just naive, you know, but this is the West. We're just confident in ourselves to just plow straight through, you know, because if push comes to shove, their religion trumps the nation, right? I don't think UK, Belgium, Sweden and Netherlands would accept that, but, you know, we, we, we don't much like ghettos either, do we? So, yeah. 
85% of the strong shared culture that goes back deep, not necessarily by race, and a mixture of other talented, unconventional types from different cultures who wholeheartedly show the best assimilation efforts making up the remainder 15%, where no one group within that 15 maintains more than 3% in number, and are not entirely averse to a house system. Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in, in another way. So every day I will, I will endeavor to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives, or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all a collage of thoughts. I will do one a day. If it takes, if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day just so I can get the 1,500 of them done, maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's, it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people, it's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some and that, that is enough. So I, I want, I need to fund this and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours. We have 15 colours on the website. I hope you're watching on the website. You can just you can you can buy now here and here and here and everything is, is just very straightforward. Uh, and also it will it will show the community of people who do like to think. The community of curious, curious, curious people who don't who don't take themselves too seriously, but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously and it's it's just it's wonderful to have this community so i will i will post on instagram some of you who want to be posted on the instagram so you get a bit of insta fame that's if you when you buy the t-shirts upon points of sale i will get into contact and say hey would you like to be featured on our instagram and we have a whole list of the community it's, it's just a wonderful thing and thank you for supporting and here is the link and thank you so much